Good day, thank you for joining. This video is one in a series of videos on our Black Box Connector platform. My name is Pete Newfer, I'm the Product Director for Full Sail Partners, and you can find other videos just like this one at blackboxconnector.com. Today we'll be reviewing a functional demo where from the perspective of a user, a manager, and an expense approver, we'll be seeing how the connector behaves and operates and can make life easier when using Concur Expense in conjunction with Dell Tech Vision. To begin, we're going to take the role of a Concur user. And in this case, this is going to be William Apple. So we've got an expense report from a trip we previously took, but we're going to go ahead and create a new expense report now. I'm going to give it a name indicating that we went out traveling. And we've got a hotel receipt to expense. So we'll go ahead and head down to the detail level of the expense report going to select the expense type of hotel and then go and fill in all the relevant information. Now the connector is going to bring all this information in at a transactionally detailed level. So everything from the business purpose uh, to the image that will attach for the actual hotel receipt will be brought in. So far this is going pretty good. We've got our image in. We're going to put the dollar amount that we need to be reimbursed for. But now I'm at the point where I'm looking for the project that I need to charge this expense to. And digging in, I can find my project number and the list that um, the connector has propagated up from Dell Tech Vision. But I can see right off the bat, the phase I need to put this expense charge to, it's not there. I should have a phase 07A that this expense, this hotel, needs to be charged to. So I'm going to make a quick call to my accounting department. Now putting on our accounting department role here, in accounting I receive a request from a frustrated William Apple who is looking for a phase that he cannot find on a project. When we go in and review the project's work breakdown structure, we can see that phase just doesn't exist. So we're going to go ahead and create a new phase here in Vision. Now in normal circumstances, we create a phase or a project and let the scheduled routine that we've set up as part of the connector pick this up and push it out. But because William needs this right away to be able to submit his expense report, we're going to click the Sync Concur Now button. And what that's going to do is when it's complete, we'll be able to call William back up and say, William, would you mind hopping back into your expense report? Go ahead and look up that project again and let's see if that phase is there. And when he does, he sees the phases there, he's able to go in, save his expense report, and continue on with his day. William will go through the remainder of the process here, saving the expense report, itemizing out the hotel receipts, and then of course, as a final step, going in and submitting the expense report. At this point, we're in the approval process, and we'll hop over and put on the role of William's manager next. So now William has two expense reports that are ready to go. And we're logged on now as Laura, who is William's manager, as well as an individual named Steve. And we can see in Laura's queue for approval, we have three expense reports. And now during this approval process, this can be as structured or unstructured as you want it to be out in Concur, but this may vary by organization. And the end result is though, Laura will need to go in and after careful review of each expense report, go in and open them up, take a look at the receipts, make sure that everything is in line, and then approve them. Now, Laura also happens to be the processor at her firm. So that means that she can go in and after expense reports have reached the end of the approval cycle, run a query and see all the expense reports that are ready to be approved to be processed. Now, processing effectively means if you're paying and concur, you're releasing this expense report for payment. Um, if it's an out-of-pocket um, expense. If you're paying in vision, processing basically means we're ready to extract this information in. And that's the next step that Laura's going to take. So we'll browse out to Dell Tech Vision, go to the Connector Info Center, the Config Info Center, and we're going to initiate a new extract. And when we do this, we shoot a request out to Blackbox, which will then in turn monitor for the progress of the extraction job. Once the job's completed, it's going to start pulling that data back into Dell Tag Vision. So as the job's running, we can actually go out to the black box user interface 
and view real-time statistics to the transfer as it's being done. So in this case, we've already got the extracted info and we're going in, we're reconciling images and we're shipping that data and communicating with your vision server to populate that information into a staging area. And the next step here, and again, that can be run as part of a nightly interval routine or on demand. But the next step is to go into the Concur Connector menu. We're going to go under the Concur Utility. And we're going to go in and look up that latest transfer. And these are organized by date and then batch ID. And when we bring up that transfer, we see that in the time since we created that new phase out on our project, we've had someone go in and make that dormant. So what we need to do, and we're catching this before you get to the point of trying to post it, we're going to go in, we're going to follow the hyperlink over to that project record, and we're going to look up that particular phase that we'd created earlier in this exercise, and we're going to make sure that the status is active because Vision will not allow posting any transactional data to a dormant project. So we'll just browse down to that level, we'll go ahead and change our status, save the record, and when we go back into the utility, and invoke a reprocess or repopulate our transactions command, you can see the errors clear out. And at this point, we're ready to go about the business of posting these expense reports just as we would have if they were entered into Dell Tech Vision Direct. As a next step, we're going to go ahead and post one of these expense reports. So we'll browse out underneath the Transaction Center, and we're going to, in Transaction Posting, go over to the expense reports tab and we'll select the trip to Denver expense report we'd made earlier and we'll go ahead and post that particular expense report. Now that that expense report has been posted and that's only part of the transfer what we'll find is when we go back into the concur utility and go back and again let's say we want to go ahead and populate again you can see that the expense report updates as do all of the transactions associated with that. So those individual hotel itemizations, they all show up as posted now. Now, when we look at these expense reports, again, on as far as we're concerned here, aside from the concurrent utility, these expense reports look and behave just as if they were entered in natively into Dell Tech Vision's Expense Keeper module. So when we go in, we can actually go and look at the data there and view the expense report itself and we'll go ahead and bring that other item in the trip to client and when we look at that again the data is all there the categories are mapped the accounts are all derived and not only that but we also have the individual line item document by document association for each transaction and if we've itemized or allocated expenses over and concur we'll recognize that and we'll only include one copy of the document but you can see these are all there and present in the expense report. Taking it a step further, we'll now go into billing and we'll go ahead and launch interactive billing. Now when we bring interactive billing out and we go to generate our invoice, we'll look up our project number, setting our default billing options. And when we come in here, check the expenses tab, we can see the items have transferred in. We'll go ahead and preview this invoice. And when we bring this up, we'll select a print the backup report and to print the supporting documents as well. And we look through this, we can see that we've got all the expense data there, of course, but not only that, we also have the backing image data associated with that hotel trip that we took and charged to that project. And it's all there able to be sent directly out to the client as part of your invoice. So this concludes our video. I hope it was helpful. Again, you can find this and other videos out at blackboxconnector.com. Thanks very much, and we hope you have a great day.